Hello and welcome to UCL. I am Ryan Gramenos and I am a teaching fellow in the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering here at UCL. Today I have with me Wasim Ozan and Hedaya Ganem, PhD students in the Communications and Information Systems Group here at UCL. And together the three of us today will be giving a demonstration of spectrally efficient frequency division multiplexing or SEFDM for short using LabVIEW hardware and software. One of the key challenges in modern communication systems is the limited availability of spectrum resources. SEFDM is one of the proposed solutions to address this issue by improving bandwidth efficiency. Our work here at UCL aims to address this issue by developing novel techniques and models to generate and receive SEFDM signals. The gap, however, is how can we actually develop a real-time reconfigurable hardware platform to assess the feasibility of using SEFDM in the real world. Existing 4G communication systems use OFDM as a physical layer interface. SEFDM is based on similar principles to OFDM in that it is a multi-carrier modulation scene. Contrary to OFDM, however, where the frequency spacing is equal to the reciprocal of the symbol period, in SEFDM we reduce the spacing between the subcarriers by a factor called alpha, which is the bandwidth compression factor. Here we see a high-level view of the SEFDM system, which in some ways resembles an OFDM system. The key contribution here is at the receiver, where we have unique channel estimation, equalization, and finally detection and decoding to recover the original signal. So here we have the testbed setup. On the left here, you can see the system diagram. In the middle here, we have the computer setup that runs LabVIEW Communication Design Suite. And then on the right-hand side here, we have the USRP 2953R with a 120 megahertz bandwidth, along with two antennas. In this demo, and for the first time, a new channel estimation method is used to estimate the channel effect in SEFDM. One of the problems that faced us in SEFDM system is that the pilot is not only affected by the channel, but by the intercarrier interference between its subcarriers. Therefore, in our system, we are using an OFDM pilot to estimate the channel. However, it is sent in a lower rate compared to the data that is transmitted over the SEFDM samples. By sending it over a lower rate, we can use a simple one-tap equalizer at the frequency domain to equalize the channel effect. And by this, even we don't need any interpolation. So as we can see here, another FFT is used for the pilot by its own because it's OFDM. And then here, there is a simple zero forcing channel estimation. And after this, the channel estimation is used to mitigate the effect of the channel by equalizing using a one-tap equalizer in the frequency domain. At the detection stage, iterative detector with interference canceller are utilized to recover the signal. In every iteration, interference are estimated and subtracted from the received signal before being passed to the next iteration. Here is our testbed setups. We start by setting the parameters for the whole system. Then we have channel coding in this system. And then we do mapping for our signals to get symbols, complex symbols. Then this signal goes into modulation, which is SEFDM modulation at the novel of non-orthogonal signals. These signals goes into the FPGA and the USRP to be transmitted as RF realistic signals. After we receive the signals from the channel, we first demodulate the signal to recover the symbols back. Then we pass again to channel decoder in order to, to recover the signal and then detection. At the end, we have bit rate measurement to evaluate our signals in comparison to O of TM signal. So now we are going to demonstrate the results of this system. So this is an OFDM spectrum. And we've got the parameter alpha, the bandwidth compression factor that we discussed before, which when we reduce becomes SEFDM. So this is 0 0.9, which means we've got a 10% compression in bandwidth, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. So this is a 30% compression in bandwidth. And you can see here that our detector and decoder can still recover symbols successfully after just three iterations. On behalf of the team in the Communications and Information Systems Group here at UCL, I would like to thank you for watching the SCFDM experimental demonstration using National Instruments Live View Communication Design Suite and USRPs.